What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron at Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Last time, we were going to head into Gruntilda's lair because she kidnapped our sister, Tootie. So, this time, we're going to actually go ahead and do that and head right into the mouth of Gruntilda. Gross! Freaking Gruntilda can't even make a, a little chamber big enough for her. That's how fat and ugly she is. Aw, oh, poor Tootie. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and to the old. Let me go, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare! There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes, mistress, grunty power is on! Soon be ready! Banjo, help! Poor Tootie, she's so scared. Why don't you learn some moves yourself, Tootie? There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. All right, so we've officially entered Grunty's fortress, or Grunty's lair. If we head up here, we can get our very first, hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. This is essentially the equivalent of the shine sprite, the power stars, Basically, anything from a platform, this is the platform, this is the thing that you're collecting. You're ho hoping to get Jiggies, which unlock worlds and allow you to progress through the game and eventually find the, hit to the final area and save your sister. Alright, so let's go ahead and land right here on the Jigsaw stand, and we can look at the world portrait. Basically, he's explaining that if uh, there's a missing piece, you can use the Jiggies you've uh, collected in order to... Fill that piece in. So, you can go ahead and press A and fill the piece in, and now we have officially opened up the picture and the world for Mumbo's Mountain. Let's go ahead and head right in there, the very first world of the game. That was such an easy fit, the others may just test your wits. Alright, head straight into Mumbo's Mountain. As usual, the first world is always, always the easiest, so... Yeah, this, this one's gonna have a lot of explanation because there's still a lot of new things we have yet to encounter. So we are going to have to do plenty of that. The first thing we're going to encounter is this pink thing. Be going and collect it, and they'll explain who they are. Yippee, you saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. And that's basically it. There's five different Jinjos per world, different colors. And if you get all five, you'll get a Jiggy. Next up is a Mumbo token. Be Mumbo's token. Used for Mumbo magic. We'll yet to learn about that. Alright, so there's two of the new things we're going to have to do. As you can see, there's already a new, uh, another Jinjo there. And here we go, notes. I'm a note. One of a hundred on each world. Collect this to open the note doors. So you're going to need to use these to get into, uh the the next different areas of Grunty's lair. It's kind of twofold. The gingers are used to open up the worlds and the notes are used to open up the areas for which those worlds are in. So you need you, you can't just ignore the notes. Um, I always go for 100%. I always get all 100 notes, all 10 jiggies uh, just because I've done that. But if you're first time player, uh, you don't have to do that. I think they make it so you can do like half the game and still win. Uh, so Keep that in mind, you don't have to, but it's, it's a nice sense of accomplishment. Alright, come here, Mr. Bull, I'll kill you. There we go. Oh, get out of here, what the heck, you're dead and you hit me? Alright. So, let's go ahead and, uh, head over here to where this giant monkey is. Grah! The Escongas tree! Me hit bear with oranges! Alright, so... Uh, the, this game is a little more complicated than Super Mario 64, as because the uh, they don't have they don't give you like mission titles in order to understand what to do. You sort of just have to go along as you guess. More like Donkey Kong 64 than anything, which makes sense because they're made by the same company. Anyways, you can kind of tell that there are orange pads here, like tiles, I guess, and he's throwing oranges at us, so we want his oranges to land on those tiles. If we hit all three, we will be rewarded with a jiggy. Excellent. Sorry if I uh, sound a little weird or if I'm a little, uh, like, all over the place. Um, I'm kind of sick, I guess. I think I feel like I'm getting sick, so I may be a little out of it. Anyways, the Jiggy just explained that there are 10 Jiggies per world. 
When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. All right. So there's that. All right, let's go ahead and talk to this monkey over here. Chimpy hungry. What's orange now? Feed Chimpy. So I guess we have to go ahead and feed this chimp. Pretty rude. All right, go ahead and climb up and grab an orange. Hey, that conga's orange. Put it back. And we go ahead and bring this orange to the chimp. And what does he say? Oh, Chippy like Kong is orange. Chippy help fat bear and bird. And we'll go ahead and get another Jiggy. All right, we're just getting these left and right. I feel like the the beginning world gives a sort of false impression of how the rest of the game, because some of the game can be confusing, especially the latter worlds. All right, we're the eggs. Let's see if we can learn to use this as ammo, which we're about to do right now. Let's go ahead and talk to bottles. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press B instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. She sounds painful. I wish I never asked. All right, Bird Brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the left stick to aim while you are crouching. Egg sighting, huh? Boo! Here's 50 eggs to practice with. Awesome. All right, so you will not have. There were, there sh you should not have a shortage of eggs. I mean, you really shouldn't. All right. There's a grunty switch we'll have to come back to because we don't have the ability to be able to hit that switch yet. Anyways, we can actually go ahead and use this now. Uh, the newest, our newest move. If we go ahead and press Y, Kazooie will shoot them out of her mouth. And if we go ahead and use B, Kazooie poops them out. Complete with a farting sound effect. Fantastic. Be safe here. Bear can't hit Konga. Yeah, that's right. Yes, I can. Watch out. Alright, hit you. Throw an orange. Come on. There we go. I'll hit you. There we go. Got him. Ugh, bear beat Konga. Me give prize. Too bad. And we get another Jiggy. Man, we got like four back to back. Don't don't let this fool you. This will not be happening. You will not get four straight away. I think I feel or three, I guess. I feel like this is just the it's just the first world kind of uh uh, kind of, oh crap, went the wrong way. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me and I'll shut up, bottles. Uh, oh, I need to heal myself up. Oh, I guess I don't, whatever. Um, so yeah, you won't be getting like three in a row on every world. I feel like it's just the first world, be, you know, they're starting you off a little easier than they ordinarily would. Alright, let's head over here to get the most useful move in the entire game. You will be loving, you will love yourself after getting this move. Let's go ahead and do it. Yes, I see that, Jiggy. I'm not blind. The Talent Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right and the left trigger while moving Kazooie around with the left stick. Go practice. So, yeah, you either hit the left trigger and then the right trigger, or the right trigger and then the left trigger. Either way, um, you can do this, and you will have to hold it down as you do it. I find it funny that they do this right next to a slope that implies you need to use the Talent Trot. But I can just do this, and I can just hop up. You really don't need the Talent Trot for this specific G uh, Jinjo. You will need the Talent Trot for other worlds, otherwise you will not be able to get very far. Alright, so go ahead and grab this Jinjo. There we go. And go ahead and grab the Jiggy while we're here. Alright, so we've got two more Jinjos left to find, and six more Jiggies. Not that bad. We should knock out the whole first world in... Uh, the first episode, or this episode, I should say. And there was a Mumbo token, in case you were wondering. Alright, so now the Talent Trot is here. We have it, so now we can run much faster than we ordinarily would be able to. You want to hop in here just right quick. And grab this Mumbo token. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. You, you, uh, if you're new, you probably you probably spend 5-10 minutes searching around for that thing. So you just I know ahead of time you're going to need that, so... Make sure you grab it. Alright, so we want to go ahead and talk to Bottles here one more time. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press the right or left trigger to sit Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Well, I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Alright, so we've learned all the moves. So now we can do this. The Ground Pound. Or the Beak Buster, I guess they call it. And now that we do that, while I'm here, I, or while I remember, I'm going to head over this direction. Alright. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. There we go. 
And we're gonna go head back to that Grunty switch. Because, um, we needed the Beak Buster in order to hit that Grunty switch. And I always forget to do this, and if you don't do it, uh, before the end of the level, you're going to end up having to go back twice and do this. So, you wanna make sure that you, uh, hit this while you remember it. Alright, and a Jiggy will appear on top of the entrance to Mumbo's Mountain. We're not able to get that just yet, but we will by the end of this episode. Alright, so now we want to head back to... to where we were at, where we learned the Beak Buster. Which is not a very long trip now that we have the Talon Shrot. Oh gosh, such a helpful move. I'm still glad they gave it to you in the first world. Alright, so now we have the Beak Buster. We can go ahead and slam down on all these little houses, and they'll each give us a little reward. I uh, don't believe it matters what order you do it in, because it always gives you the same crap in the same order. So it'll always go notes, and then eggs, and then I believe a 1-up. Nope, an enemy, and then a 1-up. This one will be the 1-up, I promise. Or I'll be a Jinjo, never mind, I lied. This one should be the 1-up. There it is. And then here is the Jiggy. All right, we just spanned a ton of stuff. We just got a ton of crap, man. All right, and you want to go ahead and shoot eggs into these tiki things. All right, but you don't want to shoot them in all of them. You want to shoot them in the first three. Oh, come on. Go. Come on. There we go. You want to shoot them in the first three, then hop up and grab this extra honeycomb piece. There will only be two honeycomb pieces per world now. Uh, it won't be like Spiral Mountain where there was an entire thing. That was just so you learned the moves and you had a reason to learn the moves. Alright, so there's number six. We're going to grab this mumbo token. And grab number seven, Jiggy. Man, I am doing a lot better than I should be on this. Is there anything back here? I forget. Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and head into here. What's up, buddy? What's up? Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can't help Banjo at Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hut boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo will help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press X to see mighty Mumbo magic. Alright, so he will transform us into different forms and stuff. I want to see what's up here first. Just eggs? There will always be stuff up here, so you want to make sure that whenever you come to see a Mumbo and his different huts throughout the game, you will want to check up here. Sometimes there will be jiggies or honeycomb pieces and stuff. Alright, I'll be right back with Mumbo because I want to come over here and make sure that I can actually get all of this stuff over here first. Alright. There's 61 notes. There is number 8 jiggy. Dang, we are just dominating. Alright. All that's left is two more jiggies, one of which is the final uh, Jinjo jiggy. So we just have to find the last Jinjo, and we will get it. And it's pretty it's in pretty big plain sight, so it won't be that big of a deal. Alright, so head over here, and we head over. You can see it in the distance right there, the Jinjo. It's pretty impressive, the draw distance on this thing. Get out of here, you termite. Alright. Come here. Oh, whatever. I don't even need the health. Alright, so we should get 100. Whoa. We should get, like, not 100, we should get, like, 95 notes here, I think. If my, uh, expectations of this game are correct. Which, it's probable that they are, because I know this game pretty decently. Alright. 94. Oh, I was one off. And there we go, there's the final Jiggy. And there is, or that was the final Jinjo, and now here's the ninth Jiggy. And now we can head back to Mumbo's Mountain. And by heading to Mumbo's Mountain, we will be transformed into this world's transformation. Which makes sense, you know? Transformations, you transform. Alright, head in. And just as he told us, we have our five tokens. Step on the switch and press X. There we go. Mumbo's magic, free to change back. You come when ready. Termite, bit small, but not bad for a first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Alright, so we have been transformed into a termite. So, only thing that stands to reason is we head over to the termite hill, which is this giant thing. 
Man, I don't, you don't know how many times I had to play this game in order to realize it was a termite. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Shut up. I always thought this was an ant, but it turns out it's a termite. And termite hills are big and tall rather than gigantic like ant hills. Alright, so with the termite, we will be able to climb slopes that we would not be able to even with the talent trot. Because some slopes are still too, uh, too, too sleep, steep for Kazooie in the talent trot. So, oh my goodness, this is going to be the downfall of me because my controller does not like this direction thing. Come on, go, 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 jump. There we go. All right, we made it to the first thing. And here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 100 notes. All right, and all we got to do is head this way. Jump over here, jump one more. All right, there's that. And now we can jump over here. Come on, get up there. What are you doing? Stuck behind there. He's stuck. Oh, oh, there we go. Gosh, I was worried I was gonna get stuck. All right, there we go. There's a free one up for you. And if you head this way, quick getting caught on corners, gosh. Here is the final Jiggy. And no need for an animation because we can't as the termite. Last. There we go. We got a fancy, fancy jingle telling us we got them all. All the Jiggies. There's one last thing we can do here as a termite. You can get this as Banjo and Kazooie, but it's a bit difficult. Go ahead and grab that second and final honeycomb piece for this world. And now you actually want to leave as the termite because as always, not as always, but with that, when we hit that grunty switch, a Jiggy appeared, but we wouldn't be able to get up there even with the talent trot, but now we can. There we go. Jiggy number two in Gratilda's lair. All right, and I don't even know what that health dropping sound was. All right, so if we head far enough out, Mumbo will tell us, Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back or magic go. So we keep going, and magic all gone, must go back to bear and bird. So there we go. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. We did all of Mumbo's Mountain, which is fantastic. I did it a pretty decent time, let's see what time I did it in. Uh, view totals. Go ahead on over to Mumbo's Mountain. 14 minutes. I feel, I feel like I did it in like 12 minutes once, which is pretty cool. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all then. Have a fantastic day. Hey, get out of here! I will crush you! Oh, not the flower.